Hi, in this course we're going to have a look at JSS implementation and how to create a complete site using JSS 12 with Cycle 9.2. So this is the agenda for the whole course. We're going to start off with an introduction, what we really want to do and what we want to accomplish by, after completing this course. Secondly, we're going to look at creating your first JSS app, how to deploy it, how to configure the JSS and JSS site. Thirdly, we're going to have a look at the master page. How do we create a master page or the main structure of our site using the layout? Fourth, we're going to look at how to create the header and footer as partial designs. So this is a new feature in Cycor 9.2 is that the partial designs and page designs that come in SXA are now available as well in JSS. Fifth, we're going to look at how to create custom components. And what I mean by custom components are React components that can be hosted within JSS and then can be used as components within Sitecore. Six, we're going to look at custom routes, which are really page types. So, for example, if you have an article page, a news page, an event page, all these different types, how do we create them and how do we create them in a way that the content is automatically displayed? So, by default, which we're going to learn later on, the route itself or the route type doesn't really have a presentation layer. So how do you create it and then create a component within it that is automatically linked to that type? So as soon as you create a new article page, it automatically renders with that component which reads from the route type fields. How do we create listing pages? And we're going to go through how do we create them using GraphQL and without GraphQL. Eight, we're going to talk a bit more about GraphQL. Nine, we're going to talk about tracking and personalization. How do we track users and how do you personalize in JSS? Personalization is very simple, similar to normal Sitecore, but tracking, you just need to invoke some of the tracking capabilities from your React app, and it's really quite easy as well. And finally, we're going to talk a bit about JSS forms and how JSS and forms work together. So let's get started. So when we look at any site, a site mainly consists of a set of things, a home page, like this maybe, content pages, which can have different look and feel, and other pages like listing pages, pages with some components on them. So these are the different types of pages you might see on any site. So home page, content page, listing page, component page. And we're going to look at how do we create all these using JSS on Sitecore 9.2. So in order to start thinking about it, we need to actually start thinking about how a page is organized. <clears throat> so you see here that most sites have a common header, a common footer that we want across all pages, which makes sense for them to be partial designs. But how do we do that in Sitecore JSS? That's what we're going to learn. This is something new in 9.2 uh, with JSS 12. So it's going to be interesting to see how we do that. Secondly, all these components. How do we create these components to add them on the home page? How do we add content like this? So how do we read content from the page type itself and just display it within the page? And how do we put the layout of that page? All that we're going to go through within the course or the remainder of the videos in this course. Thank you for watching. Next one, we're going to have a look at deploying an app using Sitecore JSS.